Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about Dragon Ball Daima Episode 3. What an episode. I mean, this is the episode where, oh, by the way, spoilers. If it's not clear, I am talking about spoilers in this episode because my usual videos, I haven't, I've tried to avoid the first spoilers in the first two episodes, but we're into Episode 3. If you're watching this video now, odds are you've probably seen it. So I am talking spoilers. Now, obviously, this episode is the one where Goku goes to the... Goku and Supreme Kai go to the uh, the demon world with Glorio. And, you know, it's kind of an interesting concept. You see the demon world. You see how it's not so much different to Earth. And you see Goku trying to get used to his body in the demon realm. You see where Dragon Ball is essentially going. And it's really interesting. I mean, there are aspects of GT in here. And I am starting to really enjoy that aspect. I'm trying to really... I'm keeping an open mind because obviously, as I've said in previous videos, I feel Toriyama is kind of remaking GT, but it's not GT. And there are aspects in there of GT, but I am still a fan of, I just want to see good Dragon Ball. And Dragon Ball is one of those shows that I will continuously go back to. And when you see something done very well, like the animation is crisp, it is beautifully scored, beautifully drawn, beautifully put together. It's just firing on all cylinders. And it's very rare, like obviously after Super, we were used to, like, in the first season or two, where it was just getting rushed and rushed, and you were just getting this quality that was not up to par. And now to see something that they've taken their time on and said, yep, this, we need to honor Toriyama, we have to honor Toriyama, let's get it right. And you just see it honoring him, you just see it doing brilliant. And yeah, there's little inside jokes in here, like Goku eating while he's doing the fighting, that screams Toriyama to me. That screams like, that's such a Toriyama joke. And little things like, um, obviously, Goku farting and saying, oh, what's a little bit more gas? It would make, it would make a difference. And then Gloria recognizes it and Supreme Kai is really uncomfortable. There is so much Toriyama aspects in this show that you're just like, that seems like a Toriyama joke. Like, you can pick them up straight away. And look, as a collective fandom, it's so good to see us all enjoying Dragon Ball. I've said this in the past videos that... This is one of the few experiences where I wish Super was more like this, where obviously by the end of Super, we were all streaming it through unofficial means because we wanted to watch it as it was happening. And also, I think uh, Crunchyroll and so on figured that out pretty quickly that we all wanted access to it very quickly because we were all going around them. So they were like, we need to get them up the same day. And then you saw that happening. But I see the real big thing of like, it's available everywhere. I've seen it available on Netflix. I obviously subscribe to Crunchyroll because I'm like, you know what? I want the best experience. I don't want to wait 12 hours or two days or whatever for Netflix to put it up. I want it immediately as fast as I can. And that's the thing, I will wait like a little bit, but I don't want to wait for a day or two like Netflix. And I know it's on, uh, I believe you can buy it on Amazon. I'm not 100% sure, but I have seen a listing for it on Amazon. But, you know, this is a thing where we are as collective fandom of Dragon Ball and we are all starting to come back together. And while I know these videos don't do too well, I know me talking about Diamond doesn't do too well in terms of views, but I'm still going to make these videos whether you like it or not. So there. <laughs> but yeah, I love Dragon Ball and I just love that how the fandom is coming back together. We are back, like we did with Super, we are back together. We are all coming back together for a show that honors Toriyama and also it's just new Dragon Ball content. And obviously we've got Sparkling Zero out there right now. I am waiting for a sale for that one. I am waiting to get the physical copy of that. But I am going to pick that up. I want to play that. And yes, as I've said a million times, like it's one of my favorite shows. I've showed, all the, I've showed all the manga on that side of the bookshelf. I've showed all the DVDs on this side. And while there's a big truck outside my window, I think that we all kind of take Dragon Ball for granted, like how brilliant it is. It's one of those shows, like, it's not like a Pokemon where it's a new episode and new city and new, same old villains, Team Rocket do this and Team Rocket do that. And while Pokemon going through later seasons may have picked up aspects of storyline, obviously there's an overall story. Dragon Ball is every episode is a new story. It's, uh, every episode is a continuous story, so you need to see the in-between episodes. And while there is filler episodes in some of it, it is still cool to see Daima... It's like must-see TV. It's like something that, if you're a Dragon Ball fan, it is all must-see. It's not like Dragon Ball Z where you could skip over Goku, uh, Piccolo getting his license and going for the driving test and that. Like, there are episodes in there you can skip over. But Daima feels like an experience. It feels like a moment in time. And I'm just enjoying it that we're all coming together as a fandom. So, yeah. 
Let me know what you think of Dimer Episode 3. I loved it. Tell me what you thought in the comments. Uh, watch another video. I'll put something on the screen here. Maybe a review to number 2 that I reviewed. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.